The people who are sitting here in front of me don't have their running shoes on. They're not wearing running clothing, but they're involved in a race. See the sign back here? It says, Race for the Cure. Susan G. Komen, North Florida. The race to find a cure for breast cancer. The bottom line is that you have to raise education. You have to raise awareness because time of the, is of the essence. Early detection is key into winning the battle when it comes to breast cancer and life. So we're going to ask you right now to go ahead and make a donation at 800-366-9598 or 904-348-6022. Now, it's easy to sit here and talk in the abstract. But let me tell you that uh, breast cancer is the second most common cancer in women. The first is skin cancer. It is also ranked second as the cause of cancer deaths. Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer. Yesterday, I met two local women who know all too well the realities of this invasive cancer. They're working to raise awareness. And they're working to raise money to fight the disease. I'm a breast cancer survivor. PJ McLaughlin got the news five years ago. For this mother of twins, the news turned her world upside down. You really don't know what direction to go in, but the thing is, is that with work and family behind me, it all became very simple. PJ's been cancer-free for five years. Her advice for other men and women? Awareness is key. Education is key. And basically, she says, find out things early, because early detection is key to surviving this often deadly disease. PJ works with Diana McCool at Florida Blue to raise money to fund breast cancer research. McCool's mom died from the disease. Matter of fact, this photo was taken right after her mastectomy. So I lost my mom to breast cancer. And after you go from sad to mad to just living life, you got to find something to do. So for Diana, this is an issue that hits too close to home. She is involved because she has hopes, she has dreams. You that people who, like PJ, women we work with at Florida Blue every day, family, friends, that there will be no more of these diagnoses and that they will be able to just live happy, carefree lives and not have to worry about this disease. For PJ, life today is a joy, but the way she approaches life is different than it was before the diagnosis. You need to be upbeat and happy about what you do, ensure that you embrace your family and God and other individuals so that we make it um, the best that we can make it. Throughout the many years we had here at Channel 4 have been doing what we can when it comes to helping fight and eradicate breast cancer. We've heard so many stories. We've heard compelling stories from women who've lost the battle to the disease and knew very well that they weren't going to see their children grow up, graduate from high school or what have you. So the thing is that we need to work and work now because the race is on. Won't you please make a donation? 1-800-366-9598 or 904-348-6022. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five idle phones right now. It'd be nice before we go to the commercial break if they rang all at the same time and that you did your part. I know that we here at Channel 4 want to make sure we do ours as well. And by the way, if you're on your way out the door, you understand, they'll be back here from 5 to 7 tonight. Stace? All right, Bruce, thanks. Well, some parents can argue.